In this video, we will use Annotate PDF to annotate and mark up a document uploaded to a Moodle assignment. Annotate PDF is a built-in Moodle feature that allows a teacher to annotate a document using comments, stamps, and other features. It is important to note that this feature will only work provided students upload either a PDF or a Google Doc. So let's begin this demonstration. From your Moodle course page, select an assignment that requires students to upload files as their submission. Here we see we have a submission that needs to be graded, so let's click on View All Submissions. The grading page shows the files that were submitted for this assignment, so let's just click on Grade. Moodle will generate a PDF for each document that the student uploaded to this assignment. Note, however, in this case, because the student did upload a Microsoft Word document and Annotate PDF is only able to handle Google Docs and PDFs, that only two PDFs were generated in this case as .docx is not eligible. This toolbar offers the annotation tools available to you and we will explore them later in this tutorial. These two tools are rotation tools and enable you to change the orientation of the document in the event a student's submission is oriented in an unexpected direction. In the lower right hand corner are tools that enable you to select the layout of the window. The leftmost button selects the grade panel which displays only the grading screen. The rightmost button displays the review panel, which displays only the document in the window. The middle button displays a split screen, which has got combination of the grade panel and the review panel. The split screen view is the default view. So let's begin annotating this document and reviewing the tools in the annotation toolbar at the same time. We are looking at our worksheet that this student filled out. There are blanks on the document where the student needed to type or write in information. Let's begin by selecting the pen tool and we will use it to write comments directly on the document in freehand. You have the ability to change the color of the writing by selecting the color tool here in the toolbar where a set of colors displays in the drop down enabling you to select a different color. The line tool, square tool, and circle tools enable you to draw perfect lines, squares, and circles onto the document. Select the highlight tool to highlight text on the document. And like the other annotation tools, you can change the color of the highlight by selecting the color in the drop down selection tool. This is the comment tool. Select this tool to type comments in specific locations onto the document. You can click and drag out any size area box on any location on the document and then type your comments. The box will collapse and then it will expand when you hover over it. You can save these comments to a quick list, which is a collection of frequently used comments that you create for your personal use. To add a comment to your quick list, simply click on the menu that, that displays in the upper right corner of the comment to reveal a selection dropdown. Select Add to Quick List to add this comment to your quick list. Like other annotation tools, you are able to change the color of your comment by selecting the drop down color selector. To use comments from your quick list, create a new comment and click on the menu in the upper right corner of the comment and select the desired quick list comment from the comments listed in the menu. You can also create comments with a large amount of text. Simply create a comment and type or paste in the text. The comment box will collapse to conceal the text and the length and enable the viewer to expand the comment box to see it all. 
On this document, there are several comments. Moodle has a way to enable the viewer to see and search all of the comments on the document. This button allows you to expand all of the comments on the document simultaneously. Clicking it again will collapse all comments on the document simultaneously. You can search for comments by clicking on the Search Comments tool. This will open a search window where you can type in the word or phrases you are looking for, see the results, and click on the found comment that is then selected on the document. The Stamps tool provides a way to add pre-created stamps to the document. First, select the desired stamp by clicking on the stamp from the drop-down tool. Next, click on the Stamp tool and then click on the document to apply the selected stamp in the location you wish. Over to the right is the grade panel. It is where you are able to give a grade on the entire assignment as well as provide overall feedback comments to the student on their work. You can move to the next document by clicking on this arrow and proceed to mark up the document using the same tools you used on the previous document. The comments on your quick list are also available on this document. To complete the markup and grading of this document, you can click Save Changes to save, or Save and Show Next to save and go to the next student. We will save our work and return to the student submissions page. You can view a final version of your markup by clicking on View Annotated PDF. I hope this demonstration has encouraged you to try Annotate PDF feature in Moodle. Please reach out to the tech team if you'd like help implementing this. Thank you for your time.